Why hello there! Welcome to my sample series. This is why I showcase games running on enhanced or next-gen consoles in 4K and or HDR. This week, I'm showcasing a game that I just got access to called Tetris Effect Connected. This was a game that originally came out for the PlayStation 4 a couple years ago, but it's now on the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X, and it's also on Game Pass which is exactly how I got access to it. And I'm running it on the Series X in 4K and HDR at my assumed 60 frames a second. I have no reason to assume otherwise. And I'm going to give this game a try for the first time. I played a whole lot of the original Tetris for the NES back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean the mid-90s. But let's just ignore that for the moment. And this is, uh, Tetris is one of the few games I actually considered myself to be somewhat proficient at. Now, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm the best ever. No, it's like one of those games that I spent a long enough time playing that I feel pretty confident of my ability to go right back into it. But this is going to be a little different. This is made by the same people who made uh, the Luminous uh, remaster. And yeah, we're, we, I'm going to just jump right in here. This also gave me a chance to really put the new D-pad on the new Series X to uh, through its paces to see how well it works. All right, well, view the tutorial, I guess. All right. I wasn't expecting it to be on the basics of Tetris. I was expecting it to be on whatever the new stuff is, but whatever. Moves into hold queue. All right. Zooming in and out. Press LT or RT to enter the mode. Stop falling and completed lines move to the bottom of the field. Alright. So it's throwing in quite a bit more stuff than just basic Tetris. Alright. Let's start with normal. And here we go. This is being recorded in 4K HDR at 60 frames a second. Now that looks good. that there. Alright. Now I just need to wait for another long uh, stick. Put that like that. Gives you a nice little outline as to where it's going to land. Maybe I could zoom in a little bit. Ah, crap. This is where things go wrong. I guess it has been a while since I played one of these types of games. And this is, yep, it's, it's, uh... Okay, so I guess I'm not that good. Alright. 
I get another long piece, I can still get a Tetris. But they aren't giving me one at the moment. There's one. Alright, now I need to recover the situation here. I'll take that. This is not recovering the situation the way that I want. There we go, that's a little better. There we go. Liking the look of the game. This is the part where I get a content match or whatever this music is. Oh well. Hopefully it's a content match and not a copyright strike. That there. Having the outline is helpful, but it's also a little distracting because it's confusing me as to where the actual piece is at the moment. I don't know if it would be better if I played without it. Alright. Clear this line. Uh, let's just do that. Alright, so I've recovered the situation for the most part. Drop this um, here. Like that. Okay, you can go in there. I need a long piece now. go. Exactly what I needed. Alright. deal with this gap here on the left. There. Sorry for the indecisiveness there. Just wasn't sure where to put that. I not make it any more difficult on myself here. Ah. 
changing um, themes, I'm guessing. I thought about getting this game for the PS4, but I decided not to because it didn't have any PS4 Pro enhancements. It wasn't like in 4K. I also didn't have a VR. I still don't have a PlayStation VR headset, and I don't plan on getting one either. One either. But now I'm glad I didn't because it means I got this game for free. Well, of course, mine's the cost of Game Pass Ultimate. I don't look at that effect. Yeah, I don't want it to become unmanageable here. A Tetra, getting four pieces would be preferable, but there's always a risk when you deliberately build up like that. I'm not saying the risk is not worth it. I'm just saying you have to be you should be mindful of it. Smart decisions here. That's nah, not so smart, but I'll just have to trust in my ability to deal with that later. I can even look at this game. Control, the D-pad feels good. Not that I'm surprised by that. Nah, let's not do that. Not when I can just do this. Perhaps I should have put that... Oh, never mind. I need a long stick to put on the left. Alright, I'll deal with this. this on the only flat surface there. Of 
drop this down there. Put that there. Trying to avoid creating unnecessary holes. Obviously, because that's the obvious thing to do. I got a perfect spot for that. Alright. No screw ups here. changing again. What do we got? Yeah, this is definitely reminding me of Luminous. Which is pretty obvious and understandable. Alright. We want that there. I almost screwed that up. I try to always leave a two space flat spot for these blocks right here, otherwise it becomes very bad. Let's put this here. Those are gears in the background. I was wondering what those were. Ooh, crap. Pay attention. Now work. This can go down like that. There. It's not ideal. That's what I want. We just need one more of these things. Put that there. Put that there. I probably shouldn't have done that. But at least it, that mistake didn't prove to be too costly. Yet. Okay. I can manage this situation to go for another Tetra. I'd like to get at least one more scene change before the end of this video. Look at that. I got an achievement. Deal. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Things are getting a little out of hand here. There we go. Well, I'm glad I saw that in the nick of time. There we go. That was the end of it? Complete area one of journey mode. So it's not an endless thing. All right. Area two, jellyfish chorus, okay. Jumping jellyfish. Just thing I remember seeing as a kid. Mm. What? Two of these things back to back? It's crazy. I did bad. I somehow recovered. Yeah, it created a flat space, but it's going to create a hole right there to the left of it. So, yeah, not much I can do about it now. Ideally, you'd like to get it so you're not making the situation worse. That's not always possible. Just do the best you can at all times. spot for this other than here.
Now I need a long stick. been a good choice though. We could have picked a better spot for that thing. Oh crap. Trying to lose focus here. I used to be good at this game. I fear I may no longer be. Maybe I'm just really out of practice. Maybe I'm just full of it. You know what? That's probably it. I'm just full of it. Put that there, and there, and there, 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 there. Crap. Come on, give me one more long piece. is not giving me a long piece. It's being insubordinate. It's hoping to see it change one more time, but I don't think that's going to happen. More likely you're going to see me fail. Oh, look at that. Wow. Windmill, windmill for the land. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm. That's pretty much just gonna cover it for this uh, game for today. Uh, but before I go, I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and videos, rather than live or in archive form. That fits perfectly there. Just as a quick reminder, I do a daily long play stream almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. From Sunday through Thursday, and I'm still, after 120 hours almost, playing through Persona 5 Royal as of time of this recording. I do a stream on Monday night, retro or otherwise, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and occasional 4K and or HDR uploads like this on Fridays. So, yep, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, hopefully this shows how good-looking this game is, and is a good looker. Yeah, so that just about does it for me, and until next time, take it easy.